Hey there, I'm John from My Solar Home. I'm a solar professional. I've been doing solar installations and battery installations for the last 10 years. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the top five best solar panels in the United States. It's just about summer 2023, and the top five panels in no particular order, Panasonic 410 watt panel, the Silfab 410 watt BG panel, the Tesla 410 watt panel, Incidentally, the Tesla panel is the same as the as the Qcell Duo 410 watt panel. Qcell actually makes the panels for Tesla. Tesla does not manufacture panels. The SunPower Maxion 420 watt panel and the REC Pure Alpha 430 watt panel. I'm going to be comparing these panels across their size, their efficiency, their temperature coefficient, their warranty, their snow and wind loads, and finally on price. Let's first start with the size of the solar panels. Now size is a really important consideration because you know we have limited roof space on our homes and the more panels you can put on your roof the more energy you'll be able to generate from your solar panels. So it makes sense if your panels are smaller. If you look at these five panels in the order of the largest to the smallest we start with number five it's the Tesla panel and it's at 74.4 inches by 41.2 inches. Now, all these panels are pretty much as tall as uh, an average size human being. It's about three feet wide or so. These panels are big. So at number four, we have the Silfa 410 BG panel. This panel is sized at 73.4 inches into 40.5 inches. At number three, we have the SunPower 420 watt panel, the Maxion 420 watt panel. Its size is 72.2 inches into 40.1 inches. At number two, we have the Panasonic 410 Evervolt panel. This one sized at 71.7 inches into 38.4. And finally, the smallest among these five is the REC 430 watt panel that's at 68.1 inches into 42.4. Next, let's look at panel efficiencies. And just briefly, what is panel efficiency and why is it important? Now the sunlight that falls on your panel, not all of it gets converted into electrical energy. If you look at this panel, the total energy which falls on this panel is maybe 100%, but the actual amount of energy which gets converted is just 22%. So the efficiency for this panel is 22%. So obviously the more efficient your panel is, the better it is for you. At number five, we have the Tesla 410 watt panel or the Qcell 410 it's at 20.4% efficiency. Incidentally, these are the best panels available in the market today. Anything over 20% is actually outstanding, but these are the best of the best. At number four, we have the Silfab 410 BG panel with 21.4% efficiency. At number three, we have the Panasonic 410 watt panel at 22.2% efficiency. And at a tad more efficient than that, the REC 430 watt panel at 22.3% efficiency. And at number one, we have the SunPower Maxion 420 watt panel with 22.5% efficiency. Next, we look at something known as the temperature coefficient of the solar panels. What many of you may not know is that panels actually do pretty badly when the temperature starts going up outside. 400 watt panel could drop to as much as 346 watts if the out outside temperature hits 110. So in California, for example, on a hot day, your panels are actually producing way less than what they should be producing. So when you look at a panel, it makes sense to look at how temperature affects these panels. Now, the number to look at is known as a temperature coefficient, a negative number in terms of a percentage, but the lower the number is, the better it is in terms of your panel. At number five, we have the Silfab 410 BG panel. Its temperature coefficient is minus 0.38%. Next, at number four, we have the Tesla panel. Its temperature coefficient is minus 0.34%. At number three, we have the SunPower 400, the SunPower Maxion 420 watt panel with a temperature coefficient of minus 0.29%. At number two, we have the Panasonic panel with a temperature coefficient of minus 0.26%. And at the top of the list is the REC 430 watt panel with a temperature coefficient of minus 0.24%. Next, next, let's look at the warranty provided by these solar panels. What kind of power or energy do these panels produce after 25 years? At number five, we have the Silfab BG 410 watt panel. It promises to give you up to 82.6% of the energy it produces in the first year. 
At number four, we have the Tesla slash QCell panel, which promises 86% of energy production, even after 25 years. But the top three, with starting with SunPower, they provide you with an even stronger performance guarantee at 92% from SunPower, as well as Panasonic and the REC 430 panel. All the panels have a 25 year warranty, but all of these panels, the REC and the Panasonic panels have, an, have a warranty which is outstanding. They not only have a 25 year warranty, they also back it up with a labor warranty. That means that the company which installed your solar panels, even if they go out of business, both REC and Panasonic, they guarantee that they'll come out there and they'll replace the panels if they go bad. If you look at the snow load and the wind load that these panels can take, all these panels are great. You can put them in any region in the United States, but some of them have got better specs than the others. At number five, we have the Tesla. The Tesla gives you about 3,600 pascals of snow load, which is equal to about 19 inches of snow it can take easily. A wind load of 2,660 pascals, which is about, so it can, it can withstand hurricanes up to 130 miles per hour. At number four, we have the Silfa 410 BG panel. This guy has got pretty good ratings in terms of wind. It's got a 200 mile per hour rating, which is outstanding, better than all the others, in fact, in this comparison with uh, 5,400 pascals wind load. Its snow load is also 5,400 pascals, which is about 21 inches of snow. At number three, we have the Sun Power with 6,000 pascals of snow load. It's about 25 inches of snow and about 3,000 pascals of wind load, which is about 155 miles per hour of wind speed. Again, very, very solid. At, at number two, we have the Panasonic panels. They have 7,000 pascals of snow load, which is outstanding 29 inches of snow and 4,000 pascals of wind load, which is about 180 miles per hour. This is the same rating as the REC panels, and that shouldn't be surprising because REC makes the Panasonic panels. Finally, let's look at these panels in terms of their price. At number five, we have the most expensive panel, which is the SunPower Maxion 400. This panel is more expensive than all the other panels by a factor of at least 20 to 30%. Number four and three, we have the REC and the Panasonic panels. They're both very similar in terms of pricing. At number two, we have the Silfab BG 410 watt panel, very good value panel, probably the best in terms of pricing amongst these in terms of the price and performance ratio. And at number one, we have the Tesla or the QCell panel. It's the cheapest panel which will be available to you today. And finally, it shouldn't be too hard to guess what the top five looks like. At number five, we have the Tesla or the QCell. At number four, we have the Silfab BG 410 watt panel. At number three, we have the SunPower Maxion 410 watt panel. At number two, we have the Panasonic 410 watt panel. And at number one, we have the REC 430 watt panel. I hope you enjoyed the video today. There are a lot more videos on my channel. Do like and subscribe and thanks for watching.